All right. So first of all, um, what are your runes exactly? Because I didn't see them all in game. Um, I think I have uh, in resolve. I have uh, conditioning and overgrowth, and um, I think uh, fleet, uh, triumph, and uh, alacrity. Okay. So why did you take? First of all, let's talk about fleet. Why did you take fleet in this game? Um, like it was before the uh, split three when uh, there was no lethal tempo. So. Yeah, but but still, you have uh, you have conqueror right instead of fleet. Uh, uh -huh, okay. So I I thought that uh, fleet is like only playable rune on Zeri. Like if you look at um, like um. Uh, what's it called? Uh, pro, uh, pro builds. When you see the pro player, they they always pick fleet. So I I just uh, did the same. Okay, so you just copied pro builds runes. Yeah, but um, only time when I change runes is it's in the result. If I have enchanter, I I sometimes take um, um I forgot what's that called. Like uh, you get more uh, heal and shield power. Revitalize. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, so I think you can you can easily play Conqueror on Zeri. Oh wow, that's a weird cue. You can easily play Conqueror on Zeri on the on the old patch on the on the current patch because in this lane against against Rel and Kaiser you don't really need fleet, right? You don't really need to sustain because you should have push with way anyways. So the fleet is kind of not giving you anything, right? If this was I don't know Kate and Lux, then of course fleet makes sense. But I think in this lane. Fleet gives you absolutely nothing, so the rune is kind of wasted, right? Yeah. And then let's talk about your resolve tree. You said you went for conditioning overgrowth, right? Yeah. Uh, why? Um, that's. <laughs> um, I just really didn't think about it. Like, I just take it. It's kind of bad. Okay, okay, because if we think about this lane, right? You you guys maybe. always you always have push, right? And yeah, maybe maybe I should I should take a bone play thing into like, yeah Ryle. yeah exactly exactly because the only way you lose this lane is if you die because you're not tanky enough, right? So with this rune, we kind of wanna make sure we don't die in early, and that's like the only way they can win the lane, right? If they kill you somehow, which should never happen in this lane because he has a fear to to block the red, and you can always jump away, right? So that's uh, like the biggest first part that I would have for you is to to actually think about your runes. Don't just copy any runes. Think about why you should take certain runes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then then talk me through the lane. How do you think the the two v two will go? What will junglers do? How how do you think you should play early on? Like um, we I, I think we should be able to get push. So uh, just um. Uh, slow push like first three waves and I can uh, just uh, invade with Hecarim uh, 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 sorry with, with Shaco or just uh, do a cheat recall okay uh, or uh, uh, if there is nothing to do uh, we can just take deep vision or and harass them uh, under the turret with poke okay uh, so that was exactly the point that I wanted to talk about because you can easily, as I said, you can't really get engaged to save you, right? You always have E, there's no way they get onto you. So you want to play aggressive, right? Slow pushing is good, slow pushing is fine. Um, is there anything you can do level 1 against their lane? Instead of, uh, like, apart from getting push only, right? Can you, I don't know, can you zone them? Can you all in them? What can you do? Uh, I don't think so because Kaisa has, like, a lot of burst damage with Rael. But, uh, and also when there are no minions, um, uh, she can like give me isolated Q. Yep. Um, but we have more range, so I think we should play on, on the range. Okay, so we, c we can agree that you guys can always control wave and the only thing they can do is somehow engage on you and then flip a fight, right? Yeah. Uh, so my question is why are we not, not boarding the middle bush level 1? Because if we say they can't really get onto you unless they come out of the bush, why are we not using our ward level 1 to ward the bush and make sure that Rail can't really just flash out of Fog of War? 
Don't you think that would be a lot easier for your lane if you just ward the bush and you can hit her in the bush all the time? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, of course, but... Like, the only time when I use the wards in, in lane, it's it's just when uh, when we are getting pushed. So I, I just ward the, uh, like, closest bush to, to the tower. Uh, but, uh, like, level 1, I usually just uh, pop the wards, like, at minute 3 or something. I don't really use it to the lane bushes. Okay, but you, you your support has a ward as well, right? Yeah, yes. So I think you can easily... Because you know he's not gonna do it, you can easily ward the, ward the bot bush, as I said, to make sure Ray can't get a random flash queue on you because you you see it, right? And then Ray can just ward here at like at like three minutes, right? When you uh, crash wave three. Yeah. Because because this way, if if you do this, and what what does Ray do with with his ward, right? Kinda does nothing. Oh uh, yeah, it's just exactly. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, what do you think, what is, what is Hecarim doing, or what should Hecarim do in this game? Does he have uh, winning top, does he have winning mid, is, does he want to go bot, like, where, where does he want to path? Um, I think to, to bot. Uh, I, I think that Syndra uh, should be able to uh, have more, more wave clear than uh, Talia. Yeah. And so, so just play around uh, like with Syndra and just uh, uh, Syndra can roam uh, both with the Hecarim. Okay. But uh, like it, it's it's kind of kind of hard because if if my Sh Shaco knows it, he, he should be like he might do the same thing and be ready with counter gank like as well. Okay, so so we we expect Hecarim to start topside, to just clear the three camps, and then probably just full clear onto bot, right? Yeah. Okay, so what we can do with it, we can either tell our Shako, okay, hey, we are stronger bot, we get push, let's invade at, at three minutes after three wave crash. Uh, you can always tell him that if he uses the information to actually do it, it's it's nice. If he doesn't use it, it's whatever. But you at least gave him the option, right? Because he might not know how bot lane matchup goes, right? There are many, many junglers that have no idea how the lanes go, actually. So you should always give your jungler the, the information, what you can do. If he uses it in the end, nobody knows because it's solo queue, right? Everybody's a random. But we should at least give him the option to to capitalize on, on our wave control, right? With this lane. No. Okay. Uh, I think yeah. You you ask him if he if he needs leash, even if he yeah. says even if he says yes, you are never leashing in this lane. If you leash and they get wave control, they can easily stand behind wave and and you're really fucked. Yeah, I mean I usually ask this because I I had a game when when I just uh, don't leash and my jungler got mad. So uh, if if um, if. I ask and he he really says that he needs leash. I I rather leash to just uh, prevent him being mad. Okay, so it's, it's I, I I see the point to to not get the jungler mad, but it's it's season fourteen. Not a single jungler needs needs leash. Yeah, even yeah. even Yumi can clear without leash. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you should never fuck your own lane just to to prevent jungler from tilt because. You should trust in your own ability to carry the game and not in your jungler to carry the game, right? Yeah. So that's that's a thing you really have to get out of your head. You're, you're never gonna leash again in your life. And if, if he gets mad, you just mute him. That's it. That. It's, it's just normal. But it's, it's as I said, it's season 14. You, you <laughs> Nobody needs a leash anymore. Yeah. Uh, also, what, what I wanted to ask you is... Um... Uh, the Sh Shaco level one is kind of um, like weak without his boxes. So um, I think it. It. I watched uh, Vegar V2 uh, coaching video, and he said that if you play against Shaco, you, you should just invite his boxes because then then his clear will be very cool. Yeah. So uh, do you think that's like uh, um, it's fine to stay on 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 the tribush like level one, like I just did? 
Uh, you can, like normally, I would expect enemies to, to invade from here, right? So yeah. I, th I think one should cover the tribush. I think you did it, and then Wei should be up here. Uh, in, in, in high yield games, usually what happens is that the whole team just stays in this bush, and enemies will come to break boxes, and then you just kill them level 1. That's usually how you want to do it. If your team does not come because top lane is doing whatever, mid lane is doing whatever, then you can't really defend it anyways, and then you can you can just stay in tri bush or go to lane anyways. Yeah, okay. Because if there are five men and your your mid laner, your top laner are AFK, I don't know, jerking off, then you can't do anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so we already talked about that the only thing how you can lose is if they get a random engage on you and Kaiser has a strong poke, le a strong all-in level 1, right? So yeah, why are we face-checking the bush? Like if yeah, Red is yeah. here, you, you get W'd, you get Q'd, you're, you're fucked, your lane is over. I should just walk with the wave, right? So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like both of you are kind of griefing, you just, you just wait for the wave and you just walk here on the wall with the wave and they can't do anything, right? I mean, we are, we're happy, enemies are kinda afk as well. I don't know what the fuck, like, what the fuck this is. But, <laughs> but enemies, enemies are afk, you are kinda trolling, so... Yeah, I get it, I like, you. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Once you get into higher elos and, and you face check this bush against Ray Kaiser, your game is over. Like, game is 1 minute 30 and the game is over for you, right? So always think about not only what you want to do, but also what, what can enemies do, right? What can these two do? And we already said it, the only thing they can do is stand in a bush and hope you are face checking, and you kinda already gave them that already. Yeah. Okay, then, yeah, I mean, taking the Kaiser Q is bad, you know it, I don't think I need to say it. it happens, it's okay. And now we just, we just wanna hit the wave to make sure we get level 2 first, so we get pushed, that's fine. I have really no idea what the fuck Wei is doing with, with QW, he's kind of trolling. Because he should just hold it and use it to push the wave, but he's doing it for fun. But I guess it's solo queue. I think you even end up losing push somehow because of it. Yeah. I mean, this is also... <laughs> this this can't happen, right? You're, you're always on, on max range, it's impossible. But it, it's okay, mechanical misplay, that happens. Don't care too much about mechanical misplays, as long as we have good habits. We're kinda lucky Shaku comes to gank to, to save like the lane, right? Because if he if Shaku just full clears top now, and you're at this HP, Hecarim, we, we said he's coming down, right? Hecarim will dive yeah. you and, you and you're fucking dead. Yeah. But we're, we're happy, we have, we have better jungler, nice. Again, I don't, I don't know what Wei is doing, like, this flash is... yeah, okay. Happens, solo queue. Here I was also considering, like, uh, blocking the KSW with barrier to try to save Wei, but I'm not sure if, if it's a like, good decision. I mean, you, you can do it, but I don't think you need to, because here Wei should just flash away, right? We, we, we know Rel has to go for this, Wei should just flash away. But he doesn't, and now he exhausts way too late. Like, it's just, just way bad. It's not really your fault to, to save it. It's, I, I wouldn't do it as well. Okay, we end up killing the rail, that's fine. Here wave I want a base. Wave is fine, okay. So, the wave is gonna slow push as it's right now. Like, towards them. Yeah, so, like. we, have, so we, we have two options, right? Option number one, we hard push this, we ping Shako to help. Because otherwise we're not fast enough, because we don't have E. And the, the other option we have is to slow push. Yeah, crashing second. Yeah, ex exactly, like like slow pushing, waiting waiting for this wave, and then crashing both ways together, right? Um, completely fine, but what we do, or what you're doing, is kind of both. You're, you're kind of hitting, and you're kind of not hitting, you're, you have E. You're hitting so you want to fast push, but you're not using E, so you don't want to fast push. I was, I was really confused. Like, what's the what's the idea behind this? You're kind of yeah, hitting like, and kind of not. Like, um, uh, slow pushing is basically when you last hitting minions, right? So, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. You only lasted minions until your wave is there, right? Until until this wave, until this wave is here, 
So you we we build a bigger wave, but you yeah, like you, you push it fast and then you don't. I I was really confused what you what you're doing here. Felt like you couldn't decide on, on what you want to do with the wave. Okay, now we want a hard push though. That's that's fine because now the other wave is here. Hard pushing this is completely fine. Um, I would always face in this bush and never here. Can you can you guess why? Maybe I can like cancel the freeze or something. Yeah, exactly. Because if, if Kaiser if Kaiser shows up here now, because we know she's here, we, we just saw Rel here as well, so Rel is gonna be like here. If they freeze it and you base, like you're you're kinda fucked, right? So we yeah. have so we have to go with the wave and make sure that uh, that they are not freezing, right? Usually it's enough if support does it alone. But we are we're three minutes in game and Rel gre uh Wave griefed like five times already, so we know he's not gonna do it, right? So, so you should either ping him and give him the information, hey, can you look that they don't freeze? Or you just have to take the... you just have to swallow the pill and do it yourself. But like, just yeah. just going here and hoping they are stupid is never the right decision. I mean, we're, we're kinda lucky. They are not doing it anyways, even though they could, right? Kaiser could stand, could, could stand here, Rail could also have been here. But again, we, we have jungle gaps, so it's fine, I guess. They're not freezing, we're chilling. That's mega lucky, yeah. by the way. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah here we go, even though I took damage. Okay, uh, next thing I noted down is your your items. Why double dagger? Why not dagger and longsword? Oh, I... Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of doesn't make sense. I. I... I just wanted to rush for Circle Greaves and just took the double dagger, yeah. I should take one for instead. I mean, there, there are lanes where, where attack speed is better, right? But if we, again, if we look at these two, and your support, we said they can only all in, right? And what is better in an all in if you have much attack speed or if you actually have much damage with the longsword, so you can actually fight back? Yeah, ID. Okay. Okay, uh, next thing I noted down is the wave. Why we, we see them, we see them walk mid, right? We see them, yeah. why are we not holding wave? Uh, I think I hold it, no, or, or, or just let it go on the top. Oh, actually, okay, okay, then, then it's one wave I... later, my bad, my bad. Oh yeah, it's 421, it's actually next wave. Okay, you're right. Well then it's good, because this way we force them to come back to lane. They are kind of fucked, because they're losing minions if they don't. They're also in an awkward spot here on the turret if they if they come back. That's pretty good. Now again, they're walking away. If you if you stand here, you can hold wave, right? You can't hold it long, because they will come and, and make sure you don't. But if you if you go here even even for two seconds, it's two more seconds that you waste their time, right? But you just let yeah. them you just let them walk away for fun. Uh, yeah. Because now they they kind of do whatever they want again. They can they can ward, they can go mid, they can they can cheat or recall, right? And we have no idea. Okay, uh, this fight is is pretty bad from you, honestly. Uh, let's go over it. Alright, so, first thing we never want to happen is stand on top of each other. If Rel W's and hits both, it's kinda bad, right? You are the one with mobility, so you just stand here. You can, you can be closer to Rel because you can always jump away, but you can't. And if you, if you stand here, you also don't have to use E now because now you're wasting E, because you have to jump away. And the, the top of it all is that you just hit Rel for fun. Why why are we not hitting the, the Kaiser that's hitting your support? Like, uh, Rel has Aftershock, we're never gonna kill her, right? We are, we're getting her to half HP max. But if we hit Kaiser, Kaiser has to make a decision, oh, do I want to trade or do I want to run away? 
it's kind of it's kind of pointless hitting the rail with aftershock. Don't you agree? Yeah. Okay. I mean, Wei will die anyways, right? But instead of instead of having rail on this HP, we would have Kaiser on this HP, right? And then you can you can freeze, you can push, and they are kind of fucked. But now Kaiser almost full HP can do whatever she wants again. And also when when the Kaiser would be chunk, uh, the rail will, would be useless too because. Uh... Like, guys, I couldn't follow up the engage, or... Exactly, exactly. So you always want to make sure that either you are 100% sure you can kill the support if, if you focus it, and if you can't, if you know you can't kill the support because it's fucking real broken champion with Aftershock, you always want to hit AD carry. Yeah. I think it's it's kind of uh, bad habits that... Like, I play very, very much, but... Uh... Like on level one, you usually just wanna hit the first target because uh, uh, the Zeri skill, like the, the super, can block block it. So um. yeah, I, I I know what you mean. I mean, I play Zeri myself, right? I know how it is. But if we if we just, for example, if we just eat down and then just hit the Kaiser, like they both just run away, right? But you're you're eating back, so essentially you say, okay, good luck, way, I'm out. Enjoy your game, right? Because now you can't do anything except for hitting her. But if you if you eat down here, you could easily hit Kaiser for free. Yeah. Or if you if you uh, let me go back, if you just position yourself better, like here, right? As I said, then you don't even need to waste E. I should just play more on on the range. Exactly. Like if you, uh, I don't know how, how you how much you know about uh, trading concepts, but if you if you are the stronger lane, which you are kinda by poking, right? You have double range. You always wanna form a, a triangle to your opponent. That means way is here, red is here. That means you wanna be here, right? So you have the triangle. So you can always uh, both hit the same target. Ah, uh, okay. And that's that's kind of for every lane that you are a lot stronger than your enemies. Okay. Uh, Shaco comes, we get nothing, I think. Yeah, we get nothing. I think we hard push this wave. Okay, we are not. Why are we not using E? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Maybe I was scared of Hecarim, but uh, he, he should be uh, top side now, I think. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we know his camps are down, right? So if, he, if he's here, he's either on Dragon or. Which is more likely, he's on top side camps because top side camps are up. And if he is bot side, we maybe lose flash. But if he's bot side, Shaco gets his whole top side and, and grabs as well, right? And Hecarim's game is over if he ganks him. Yeah. So we for sure wanna wanna use E here to, to push the wave as fast as possible, have a good reset. Okay. Um Bad ward? Why are we why are we not warding warding this? It's it's one extra step and you can ward here. Yeah, uh, it, it will give me like more vision to the river, right? Yeah, a lot more more vision, right? I think you you also ward this in a second. Uh yeah you do. This is fine, right? If you if you have this and this, what is Actrium gonna do? Walk or walk around all the way? No way. Yeah. <laughs> so by by doing this, you actually give him the like he he can easily go here anytime, right? And then you see him when he's like here, but it's way too late because it's hacker. Like if you see him here, he he presses E, he presses Ghost, you're fucked. Yeah. Um, but my question in the first place is why are we? Why are we warding anyway? So why are we not pressing B? I, I don't know, I think I just want to just punish enemy, like get something from the push. I, I, I just push so I want, like I have the habit to either like recall or take deep vision or just do something on a map, but... Uh, and also I think uh, Rel and Kai's are uh, like half HP, so I just want to get something out of it, but actually I should just recall. I mean, I, I see your point, and I kind of agree, but like right now, okay, uh, here we don't see them anymore, right? It's it's 4.59. We don't, we don't see them anymore at 
59. So, so you 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 kind of have to think they're low HP. They will base, right? Like 80% they will base. So we use E. We push this, and they they haven't showed for like what 13 seconds now. So you kind of still think they're base, right? You should think they're base. Yeah. So now it's it's 16 seconds. We didn't see them for 16 seconds, so it's it's like 99% their base, right? If not, they're omega trolling because they did nothing for 60 sec uh, 16 seconds. So now you should you should press B, and the moment you see them, which is now, now you can go for vision, right? Now now I see the point. You you see the HP. You say like, okay, I want to punish them, but you did like for for 16 seconds you didn't know that. Now you know it. Now you do it. It's fine, but you you went to ward before you even knew it, right? Yeah. Okay. And also, also, if if they they would base, I would at least just they would lose a few minions, and I would get like a, a reset at least. Like exactly, exactly. Okay, uh, we talked about this. Which what you can do as well, if you if you want to get deep vision, you can even uh, like go here, right? Because your Zeri, if 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 Hecarim is actually there, which which he shouldn't be, you can always e out. I think this ward just gives you a lot more than this one. Because you just see him so much earlier, and you see uh, you see him when he clears as well, helps your top lane as well because he sees him. I think if you have the time to do it, you should always go for the Grump Ward instead of Tribush. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I, yeah. yeah, I think I, I should just, I shouldn't hitting the wave. I should just freeze it because it's pushing into me. Exactly. Like if, if if you if you don't hit the wave, if you just freeze it or let it slow push into you, look at the HP, right? What are they gonna do? They if they, if they fight you, they die. If they don't fight you, they lose millions of XP. And if Hecarim comes, then again Shaco gets everything in topside, right? Grubs are about to spawn soon. Shaco is mega happy if Hecarim comes spot. Because I think you this is something we're gonna see very often. I think you hit wave a lot without thinking about why or if you should even hit it. In every game. Yeah. Like I I when when I looked at the games and I took notes, I at least like twenty times I, I wrote why are we hitting away for fun. Yeah, it's like definitely something that I should work on. Like, yeah. And and also in, in mid game I, I got like caught for like no reason just because of my map awareness I didn't respect it, I don't don't see enemies. Yeah. Uh, now we see Hecarim go into topside, so we know they these two are completely alone, right? So now we poke them under turret, that's fine. Um, you could make the argument again that we want to freeze this wave for the same sake as we as we did last wave, right? But this time we know Hecarim is topside, so I think it's okay to push this one to just pressure them a lot more, right? If you push, they can't base, they can never base, and you kind of just uh, make sure they you jail them in lane. So I think it's okay to push this one. Uh, we could also, what we can also do is slow push it again. Like we hold it here, we slow push it until our next wave comes and then we crash two waves at the same time instead of one. Just gives us a lot more time to hit the turret or poke them, right? If two waves are in the turret. Yeah. Okay, but we with the turret, that's fine. We use W to poke, that's also fine. Not too much happening. I think you're a bit too scared to to hit the turret. Actually, I think you can you can pro proc passive here already. You have it, like right. You, you walk out now, and now you can you can hit turret again with passive. It's six eighteen. You you wait with passive until like twenty two, right? It's four seconds that you just I don't know why you you didn't auto with passive. It's so much damage on the turret. But it's okay, we get played next wave, so we want to push again. Same thing, we see, we see Hecarim on top side, so we can push this one, it's okay. Okay, and I'm now their base, and I think now you, you autopilot, kinda. Uh, if you if you get the plate, why, why are we not pressing B? We get one plate, we press B, we have good tempo. Yeah, I think I just ran into a bush or something and then recolor. I don't know what I did. Okay, uh, ah, it's... Yeah, yeah, I'm pushing. Yeah. Okay, it's 6.42. You should be pressing B now, right? Okay, let me do the two again. Uh, 
press B. Why I why I keep this here now is because you you check the bush for fun. We we know Hecarim's top side. Why are we checking the bush? He can't be there. Yeah, it's it's just out of balance. Okay. And now we get another plate, which we don't need. We have we have so much gold. Like we wanna we wanna press B. If we if we would have pressed B, we we're in base already, right? It's nine seconds ago. So we would have good tempo, we would have had good item spikes. But we, we keep hitting the turret. Now we go for this wave as well. Now we are kinda stuck on lane. We yeah, I lost, I lost so much tempo, I should just base and also like enemies are on, on the map right, uh, exactly. right now now and they just need to base. Exactly, because if you if you base now, they, they can just freeze again and, and you're losing two or three waves because you, you, you just, I don't know, you stay for fun for an extra plate. Which gives you nothing, right? It doesn't matter if you base on 1.4 or 1.6k gold. It's just, it's like, it's not an item spike, right? If, if you get a finished item because of it, I see the point, because then you're mega strong, right? Let's say you finish static on the base with the extra plate, it's really fine. But this way, you're, you're kind of jailing yourself in lane. Now, now we are stuck in lane with 1.6k gold, they're holding the wave, everything looks bad. I also guess I should... W the push. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, oh no, I can't. No. Yeah, we've we've been cancelled the recall. We're, we're fighting the Kaiser with these items, and we have a double dagger. Yeah. How the fuck are we killing this with double dagger? Way look look way mana. Look your mana. How the fuck are we killing them? Yeah, it's, it's it doesn't make any sense to fight here. Exactly. So, so you're still not base, right? We, 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 we still have the time here. It's six forty-two. You should have been. Uh, you should have pressed B. It's seven thirty. You are not in base. It's like forty-five seconds already wasted completely for fun. Yeah, I think maybe I was just like that. Um, I, I'm level six, so I can fight them, but I have legit no items. So yeah, exactly. Like... You, you're, you're piss weak. Like you, you are kind of strong if you base, right? If you're base, you're, you're Exodia, you're Thanos. But you you have nothing right now. Right now your 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 support your support does more damage than you because you have double dagger. You you have nothing. You're a cannon minion. Yeah. And now because we're we're still on map a minute after we should have based, now Hecarim has time to come. I think nothing happens. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nothing happens. We're still on map. 1.8k gold, still not base. Wave is in. Uh, we can, we can, we can be in the bush. We can press B. But we are. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, do we, do, uh, we, do we hate winning? Do we hate base? And let's go another wave. Let's go more gold. Speak. Oh my god. Like your 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 jungler is wasting time because he has to cover you because if Hector comes again, you have a problem. Your support is wasting time. We are not. We are not. Pressing B on support either, so we can't get wards in enemy jungle because support doesn't base. Like we're kind of ruining the, the the game for a whole team, right? Because because we refused to base two minutes ago, and we end up killing bot because we have better mid laner. But like, imagine enemy enemy comes enemy mid laner comes bot and your mid laner doesn't like game is over, no? Yeah, like th th then we just. I'm not sure if I survive. Oh, I... I think I survived this, I'm not sure. But yeah, like this fight was my fault because I just <laughs> didn't have items, so Yeah, like <laughs> everything that happens after this in the next two minutes, which is now, is everything is your fault because you didn't press B. So it, essentially you killed your mid laner, you killed your support, you ruined uh let me move this. You ruined temp uh, tempo for your jungler. Because you didn't press B two minutes ago. Everything after 642 for two minutes. Everything is a clown fiesta because you did not press B. For two minutes, that's that's like a, that's a, a fourth of the whole game, right? Right now. You, you, yeah. you, you fucked up a quarter of the whole game because you didn't press B. And on top of it all, you lost both of your subs for nothing. You you didn't get you didn't get shit. Yeah, I guess you get the one plate, which is kind of whatever, but you lost both sums 
And you killed three of your teammates, kinda. Okay. Like, it's... It, it's really hard to, like, just... Um, I don't know how to say that, but, like, the consequence of... of, of uh, just one base, just... It, it, it uh, happens, like, two minutes afterwards, so... Yeah. Um, I mean, when this happens, it's okay, because once once you did it, you can't change it anymore. But even even here... I could just base it and just push him. Yeah, but... even here, like, push this and, and press base, right? But again, we, we stay, and we stay, and we stay, and we dive. We, like, like think about it, right? Boom, boom, boom. Double yeah. dagger, and we're diving enemy bot. Yeah. <laughs> like it's it's like a comedy show, no? Put put Fiesta music under this and it's legit best show on, on Europe. Okay, uh one small uh, thing. Also, also yeah? I just blindly walk just in, into Syndra when I see her on, on the map, so Yeah, like we we that's the next point. We have a ward here, we see Syndra coming down. It's fine if you if you walk out of tower range, right? Because you have to. But here just 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 flash the stun bro. If if she's not bad, she will she will flash ult your dead. Because she can flash ult right. She even right, right, what the fuck? She even did flash right. Just just imagine she does it one second earlier. You are dead. So you are dead. Talia's dead. Waste dead. And Shaku probably dies too because Shaku's um he can't do shit. Syndra is full yeah. HP right. We're never gonna kill Syndra and Hector. So doing doing the initial mistake of not basing is is okay because because we didn't think about it, but only because you did one mistake doesn't mean you have to you have to keep on doing mistakes, right? So I think I pointed out like five or six things now in these two minutes that we just that can all be prevented by just actively thinking, okay, what is gonna happen if I do this? No. Okay. Um, yeah, now we base, we still don't get uh, static, so it was all for nothing. Hmm. Um, we could make the argument to buy to buy pink ward. Right, we have the gold anyways. Um, what what elo are you in right now? Uh, emerald too. Okay, I guess I guess never mind. Emerald people people don't use minimap anyways, right? You you yourself you didn't use it as well when Zindra came, so I guess pink ward is not needed. I see it. Yeah, the carry like, sa saves the gold. Like usually, I, I just buy, buy pink for like um, after the twenty minutes and just put it on Baron or Elder when I just want objective. Okay, okay. But otherwise, I don't usually buy it. I mean, if you if you have if you have bush, which you do, you can you can kind of always buy a pink board and just put it in tri bush, because enemies you, you have push right. Enemies can never clear this, so it it stays there for a long time. Yeah, and, and also if if Jen if Hecarim comes, we can just defend the pink ward. Exactly, and and what what is the most important part? If this is pink warded, the tribush, enemies never know if Shaku is in there or standing behind you and pressing Q. Right, he can just stand here because you pink the tribush. If he stands here and jumps over wall, they're kind of fucked because they never know that he can be there. Right, because you pink warded it. Like right now, we don't we don't know if there's a ward in there or not. But if we have a pink, we can easily check. Okay. We're last sitting in the turret, everything is fine. Wait, Shaku coming down. Okay, this is exactly what I mean, right? Imagine you put a pink there, and now Shaku and Wei come, she has no idea. Yeah. And they just walk behind and she's dead. You, you use 75 gold, you get a free kill, and she loses three waves. But I mean, this is very lucky case, right? This is very rare case. Usually, usually your so your jungler doesn't come instantly, especially when his when his whole fucking top side is up. But okay, um, yeah. Again, uh, so in, in general, I want to just buy pink ward when when I'm winning and I. Uh... And I want to prevent enemy to have like vision on in the tribush, right? Exactly, exactly. Only, only if you're winning, right? Because if you, if you're losing, if they're if they're having push, 
then they clear it anytime you wasted gold. But if you have push, you know they can't, they can never go here, right? If, if you if you play here all the time, like they're never clearing this, you can even put it here then to have river control. And then you all, like they never know where your jungler is. And you always know that you're kind of safe, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, why are we hitting this wave? Why are we not slow pushing with next wave? Yeah, this is and also I would just get the more time to go to river or just do something. Not now I, if I push this, I just don't have time. Yeah, exactly. Kaisa, Kaisa, autos this, presses Q, wave is gone. Yeah. Um, I just. Yeah. I just straight up ran, ran um, to drag, but like Shaco was kinking mad, I think, at the time, so I just blindly just uh, push, <laughs> hard push the wave and just just run to, to the drag pit. Yeah. I mean, clearing this ward is fine, putting this ward is also okay. Okay. Why are we not walking here? And killing them. Why are we using E? Oh, hmm. I didn't. I didn't really think about it. I just jump in so I, I can cast W on them. But actually, we are stronger now, so. Yeah, but you can you can cast W from here as well, no? Yeah. <laughs> we, we just yeah. Oh my god. And also, if, if I eat like into into Rel, they, they can just burst me. I think if Rel just Q flash or something, there yeah. is a chance that. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. If 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 I do this in in, in Grandmaster Challenger, Q flash dead. Yeah, you have no sums dead. Incendi, no counterplay. But if we if we if we walk here, again we don't want to be on top of each other. So maybe maybe Wei walks here and you walk here, right? So Rel can't get both of you. Then Rel has to make a decision. If she jumps on Wei, you go on Kaiser. If she jumps on you, you jump away and you kill her. Because she doesn't get aftershock. And also Wei could... Uh, can, uh, I'm not sure, can, uh, can he can cancel the, yep, the Rel can. W? Yes, he can. He can. If he has uh, the, the E, E, also the double E is the, is the projectile that he throws, right? That just fears. And this can still straight jump. But then again, I don't know, in, in this elo, he maybe doesn't doesn't know it, doesn't do it, because he didn't do it earlier as well. When Remember when Rel jumped on you here on your both? He, he didn't do it as well. He used different spell, which was kind of bad. Yeah. But okay, so next time we press W here, we walk here, and we just hit them. Because where yeah, can they go, I mean... right? They can kite into Alcove, and they die. They can kite into your turret, and they can die. They can kite into this, and then your Shaku comes, and they die. But if you if you do this, they walk out. Nothing happens. Yeah. I mean, I, I just really need to start thinking about like how to using my E and also like when I can just walk and play on a max range. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 different if you I don't know if you let's say you're you're zero four right, and Kaiser is four zero, then you you can never go here and fight them right. But you 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 are Exodia. You are 0, 0, 3, you have same items, you can't get hit by Rel because you have E. It's the freest fight of your life, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and, and here as well, right? You... I just walk into Rel. You, if, she, if, she, if she walks forward, she presses Q, like, you have no counterplay. You, you are dead. You have no flash, you have no barrier, you're just dead. I mean, now now it looks good because because you you chunk them right, but it only looks good because they are bad, right? If if this was if this was me in my in my spot, you always die there, hundred percent, right? Yeah. And we wanna we wanna build good habits to play against better players as well. And if you if you just walk here, you kill them. This is a lot better than just having this small chunk here, right? I think we can we can agree on that. Now you have E again. Now I think it's okay to play aggressive again, right? Walk into them, hit them now because now you can you can E away. This is always fine. 
I think with Zero you always want to kind of be in enemy's face and always hit them because you have the E. But as I said, right, the last the last 10 seconds, if you don't have it, it's really risky. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, what I think I, sh I should do, like, uh, after these coaching sessions, like, uh, when I... Uh, usually when I watch my replay, I just l look at my death and uh, or uh, how did we get behind, which is usually like we lose a fight or something. But uh, like uh, uh, the recall thing, when I did a recall for like uh, four minutes, I think, or something like that, like I, I didn't die, so I, I didn't see that I, I just completely griefed it up. Yeah. I think uh, the best way you can you can review your, your games, right? How, how I do it is I watch the, the full game, like the like all the time, but only the, the first 10 to 15 minutes of the game. Because then you build good habits for the lane, and if you always come out of lane ahead, it's much easier to review late games, right? Because you're not 5k gold behind or something. And let's say you did, you did everything that we talked about in this game. I think you are not 0-0-3 with 94 CS. I think you are like, I don't know, 4-0 with 100, 120 CS or something like that, right? Because you have so okay. much tempo and, and you kill them here and everything. And then again, your team also has a lot more kills, right? Because as we remember, this guy died because of you, this died because of you, this fucked up tempo because of you. And then yeah. your, your team is just a lot more ahead. Okay. Um, it's AD Shaco, right? Or is it AP? Uh, I think AD. Okay. Why are we hitting Drake? It's an AD Shaco. <laughs> you can't do it alone, no? Uh, yeah, it's... Well, uh, what should I do instead? Like... Uh, let's go back. Because, like, there, there is no minion waves, I think. Mm, okay, yeah, you're right. I see it. I, th I thought I, I thought you could freeze it. But I think Wei just yeah just Wei just puts QW and then the wave is gone. I think then then it's okay to go to Drake, but let's not wa uh, waste too much time. I think when next wave comes, I don't really see where it is. It spawns now, right? Yeah, it's spawned now. Okay. Wait, no, there is it is. Wait, what? I'm confused. Yeah, the wave is already there. The wave is already there, and again, we lose one minion instead on turret. Yeah, like for and nothing. You, you, you still get this one, okay, right. But you could you, you could do many things. So I think you should go to Drake, it's okay. Press W. So you get the you get the stack on your legend rune, right? You have uh, electricity, right? Yeah. If you if you get assist on epic monsters, Nashor, Dragon, Grubs, Herald. Then you get a stack for your, your legend rune for your alacrity. You just need yeah. one hit on, on the objective. So you press W and then you go back to lane. And then what stops you from like if, if you're here earlier, right? Let's say let's say 10 seconds. What stops you from freezing the wave here? Nah, nothing. Mm, yeah. And I mean, this is the things that you said you don't review, right? Because you didn't die. But now enemies can base because you gave them you gave them free push. If you freeze it, they lose two waves, which is a lot of XP, a lot of gold, and this is like I don't know, let's say let's say 300 gold they lose, which is kind of 300 gold you ahead more. Yeah, and also like um, we have so much vision on bots, so uh, we would we could probably fight them because. Exactly. Uh, they, if, if you if you start freezing and they cancel their base and they come, like your your jungler is there, they die. They have no counterplay. You 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 can't die, and they die always because your jungler is there. Enemy jungler is on top side. We know yeah. it because we don't see him bot side, so we have to assume he's top side. So yeah, I think if you if you freeze, it's three hundred gold if they base, and it's six hundred gold if they die, or even more because then you get another wave right? Yeah. But we, we, so we said no to 600 gold to what to deal 500 damage to dragon. Yeah. It's like, you, you see the point, right? It's kind of, it's kind of really wasted. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I think pushing this is okay. Because we want to get a base. Oh no, we are not basing, bro. Why are we not basing? Oh no. Oh no, because the plate is there. Mm, yummy gold. <laughs> yummy gold. Who needs tempo? I have seen this before. Now oh, enemies, yeah. enemies are here. Kaiser aesthetics, I think, already. And I have this. Hmm, what do I do? Do I base or do I fight them? I guess I fight them. I guess it's just... <laughs> Again, it, it looks fine because we have better mid laner. Yeah. <laughs> but imagine, imagine this is Syndra, and your mid laner is in mid lane. Like again, dead, dead, wave gone. Press B, bro. Like, do you hate this button? Is it is it ugly? I don't know. <laughs> and and even even after after I took the plate, I, I could just face in, like instantly. But I hit the wave like after yeah. after I took the plate. It's just. Yeah, I see the point of, of the plate, right? But it's now minions are gonna do the rest. You can already already walk away, recoil. Your your wake can hit it once or twice more because your tempo is more and more important than waste tempo. ADC tempo is always better. So you can walk back. Way can hit once or twice more to get the plate. And even if you're standing here, you will still get the plate gold. Yeah, like theoretically, she uh, or um, it, it's it's a male character. <laughs> he, yeah. he he don't he don't even need to be like in lane because like I, I need to catch farm, so he can just base later and just play map or something. Yeah. And now if we look at tower HP, it's it's 700. Plate is plate is at 1k. We did 300 damage. Nice. Gives us nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, as I said, okay, we we fight for fun, we get better mid laner, good job. Press B. Why, why are we not pressing B? Oh. Tal Talia can stay bot, you can press B and go mid. Why are we sharing gold? Oh my god, it's, it's just complete land. And your, your jungler has to cover it. Luckily he does it, because if not, Syndra gets turret, and Syndra is omega fetch, she, she presses QW on you, you're dead. But we have, we have better jungler as well, so he covers mid turret. And what you are doing is, hey Talia, thank you for the gank. Let's, I can give you the gold alone, but I want it as well, yummy. I don't, I, I have 2k, but I want 2.5k. And your support is joining as well. Yeah, also, guys, nice, thanks for the gank. I take the gold as well. And now I you mean, should, al yeah. Also, also, I got lucky because if, if I wouldn't get these two kills on Kaisa and Rel, I, I wouldn't even have uh, static ship, I would just have like uh, 1400 gold or something. I'm yeah, sure. yeah. So even even going for the plate, again, is, is fine if you if you get an item for it, but you don't... It doesn't give you a bigger spike than you already have, right? So just press B. And now because you didn't press B, your mid laner has to run mid again. But it's like bot tower is down. I think we we as Zeri we want to be mid lane. But now yeah. we we tell our mid laner, hey, thanks for the gank. Now always uh, now also cover mid lane for me, please. Do everything for me. And like uh, usually when I um, when I push the tower before 14 minutes, or like in general when I push the tower bot, when I I pretty much always want to go mid or yes, are, either are either, some... mid, either mid or top. But you you never want to go bot again because you can't like you you can never hit this. I think we can agree because then Hecarim and and Zyndra walk bot if you're here. You can't hit the turret, and being hitting the wave here it doesn't matter if you do it or if Talia does it right. So I think you wanna you wanna be on map. You wanna either get a plate here or get topside vision for Herald, which is spawning in one minute thirty. Or, I don't know, push mid because we have static now. And then after push mid, we want to go top and have top. But if we're, if we're sitting on bot lane, what are we doing? We are, we are doing nothing, right? And we can just push the wave and go mid, I think. That's yeah, I mean, what I've done. Yeah. But Talia can do it as well, no? And when, when Talia yeah. does it, she actually can, can like be there faster and ult, get a kill, or I don't know, get, get bot side vision. But do we even want bot side vision? No. Herald is spawning in 140. I think we want topside vision. Yeah. And if I if yeah. I look at Na position, 
I think I wanna be Zeri here, push mid and kill this guy. Like, what is he doing? Yeah. Okay, now she thinks it. Yeah. But now we as we are we're biggest Zeri Europe because our whole team Perma played for bot, and we are sitting under our own turret farming one wave. Nah, bro. Yeah, like if I would just play for top lane and just kill Gnar and like it's and Herald is spawning, it's just oh my god, wrong. Yeah, and, and now you can't really go mid because then you lose wave, right? Or oh, if you if you go mid now and Talia goes spot, she loses the wave. Like now the whole whole lane setup is fucked. We are we are never getting getting vision in topside again because we can't leave bot. And Na is saying, oh my god, I can still push. Let's let's go play some more top plates. Instead, you could have gotten mid plate or you could have gotten top plate and killed this guy or get vision here. And again, all of that because because you hate the because you hate this button, right? Yeah. And it's like what? It's it's two minutes again now where you could have based. Well, let me check. Eleven. Well, I think you can base earlier. Okay, 11.13, I think you, you walk here into this bush, you press B, it's 11, let's say 11, 11 15, 17, let's say 17, okay? It's, it's 13, that's, that's two minutes, and I'm sitting on, on my turret as fat, as fat Zeri. Again, we have best jungler Europe. He plays for us still. We are, we are griefing him, but he's still playing for us. So we get even more. <laughs> and I, I have no idea what these two are doing. They have no turret. They should be standing here. And you get nothing. Yeah. But now again, you, you think it's good, right? Because you get double kill, which is nice. But if enemies are not completely apes, you, you don't get this. And top lane is getting fucked because you're not there to help him. I and just... also, also Talia has TP, so uh, I'm I'm not sure if if the TP is up, but uh, for the herald, but um, in general, like um, she could TP to, to the herald fight. I mean, worst case, she she pushes this and then just walks and ults, right? She has she has big ult. Yeah. I think she's level 11 already as well. No, she's level 9, okay, never mind, she has small ult. But still, she can just walk and ult, right? So it's a Talia, she wants to roam, she wants to be in, in river and perma roam, look for ults. And now we are losing, like, Talia died, okay, sucks, that's, that's not your fault, but Talia dies, we're losing mid turret for fun, top lane is getting dope for fun. And then I look, what is my Zeri doing after I fed her all game? Oh, she's chilling enemy bot side, doing nothing, nice. So mid lane dies, turret gone, top lane dies, tower gone. Oh big, my Zeri has a pink ward. My Zeri hits scuttle. Like if, if, if I'm your top laner, I'm, I'm omega mad right now. Yeah. Like, like this poor guy, he's trying to hold worst matchup against Na. He's trying to chill and he's so happy. Oh my god, my Zeri is fat, she's gonna carry the game. And what is Zeri actually doing? Pink ward, scuttle. <laughs> Kinda nothing, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and again, there's so much hitting because I have just zero deaths, and I, I don't know. I mean, I, mean I, I, I look at the whole game, but I just didn't focus on it that much. Yeah, and, and this is why I always, uh, always say review lane over everything, right? Everything that happens after this is really whatever, because now I should not be 3-0, I should be 8-0. I should not, not have 130 CS, I should want, have 150. Enemies should not, not have 14 kills, enemies should have, I don't know, 7 kills. But you killed this guy two times, this guy two times, this guy once, this guy once, right? Yeah. And like we can we can still review the end of this game, but I think everything that happens after here is so fake info. And I think we get more value out of just uh, 